in the name of good fun and adventure, building a snowboard where no one's ever built a snowboard before. A few months ago, a fan of the show, a professional scuba diver, rode in with an idea to press a snowboard using the atmospheric pressure deep in the ocean. So we're traveling halfway around the world to meet up with him to see if this idea works. From under the ocean, top to those mountains. We are going to press the first ever snowboard underwater. This is every third Thursday. A chance for us to have some fun in our factory, get creative with board design and materials, just get spontaneous, come up with a theme, and build it. We just landed in beautiful New Zealand, took an epic red eye flight to get here. There's no way this idea has ever been done before. We brought our own materials and we're going deep. And we just got to Queenstown. We've been off the plane for about 45 minutes. Our guide Lance is gonna take us to the pool where I'm gonna get certified and begin. I've never scuba dived in my life. I've actually been kind of against it just because I don't like being under the water for long periods of time, but time to get over that. It's always nice to open someone up to diving and particularly for someone like Dave who has a great passion for snowboarding. And it's very always good to diversify what you're into. Never get too caught up in only doing one thing. And so very excited to share this. It's pretty fun, really fun. First part of the dive, certification done. Now we're headed to the lake so that I can get all the tools necessary to build this next DTT, of course. Crazy. The first thing I notice is there's a ton of gear. You think you have gear when you're snowboarding? You have no gear compared to scuba. It's always pretty scary going deep underwater for the first time and here in the middle of winter and in Queenstown, it's quite dark, very challenging. Dave handled it well but his eyes were massive, you know. I haven't seen him so afraid. Tomorrow is Milford Sound, where we are gonna try to press a board under the ocean. We're here in Milford Sound with the Descend scuba diving crew. I've got the board materials right here, and we are gonna go test the theory, can a snowboard be pressed under the ocean? Milford Sound's a beautiful environment. It's regarded as one of the top tourist destinations to see in the world. It's even called the eighth wonder of the world. Its natural beauty is outstanding. It's a massive fjord, huge cliffs, huge mountains, awesome depth, and we get to dive into a marine reserve with completely unique marine life, great big black corals, great fish life. It's really just a great place to go dive. The whole concept is to utilize the pressure of the ocean deck to press a snowboard. To demonstrate to you guys at home just what water pressure can do to air, I'm gonna take this water jug down only to about 30 feet, 10 meters. The air inside is compressing. The jug is folding up and compressing. You wouldn't want to be inside it. So right now we have to make a mobile press in the back of a boat. It's kind of fun doing this in the rocky boat, right? <laughs> Normally the process of laying up a snowboard would look a little different. When we're in our factory, we use a huge hydraulic press that's custom built. It puts the right amount of heat, the right amount of pressure, and in 15 minutes, we've pressed a snowboard. Our factory is the ideal environment. It makes a quality snowboard that we can count on. This is not our factory. Who thinks we're at the snowboard factory? Laying a board up in the ocean at you know, five o'clock at night, it was, it was getting pretty windy and choppy and there were some big waves that are coming through and we're trying to lay resin and keep all the pieces in line so things aren't shifting. It was one of the trickier builds we've ever done, for sure. We're grabbing Mark's current snowboard and we're gonna use that as the form. We're gonna take all the materials, resin it all together, and then put them on top of his snowboard. 
put them in the vacuum bag, and then the pressure should squeeze everything to the same form as Mark's snowboard. Maybe the most beautiful place I've ever laid up a snowboard. So now we're gonna put the board into this back, this sealable vacuum bag, so no water will get in and no materials will get out. And then we'll safely put it to the ocean floor. Right now we're gonna use the oxygen from the scuba tank to suck the air out of the bag before we sink it. The epoxy's starting to kick. We've got to get this thing underwater right now. If it's getting dark, I've got to get deep real quick. Put the weight belt on so we can get it to the, to the bottom. No problem, it's going to stay there overnight. It's getting late. Lance is going to just dive it down so that he doesn't have to take my sorry ass all the way down. <laughs> We got the board at the bottom of the Milford Sound right now, 30 meters. 100 feet, yeah. Tied off to a lobster pot. Yeah. Tomorrow we go retrieve it. Yeah, the fish will have fun with it overnight. And this is really going to test our theory can the ocean press a snowboard? What a day! It's day two on the Milford Sound, time to get suited up and go retrieve that board. I love the fact that I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. Science tells us it's gonna work, but you never know. Like, yeah, if the resin doesn't cure or, you know, the pieces slide around while it's being dropped to the bottom of the ocean, we could have a lot of problems. So this is gonna be a great experiment. We're gonna go down and retrieve the board. You have this line that's attached to it and you find the line under water about 20 feet deep and then you just start following it and you start heading down and you're like, all of a sudden you're 30 feet deep and then 40 and then 60 and then you're 100 feet deep in the ocean. You find the board tied up to this old crab pot. And we just start floating it back to the surface and there's nothing stranger at that moment than carrying a snowboard and scuba diving at the same time. We were both stoked to bring that board back up to the surface and take it out of the bag and see if this theory works. Board retrieval done. Time to take it out of the vacuum bag and see what we got here. What a day. We just pulled this board out from the bottom of the Milford Sound. It's pressed together. It looks great. We're going to take it back to Lance's and cut it out and get it ready for the mountains. Look at this, our makeshift factory for the day. We have just about everything we need. This is way better than we expected. We've got a bandsaw, side sander, all the tools we can use. drilling out the inserts, let's go to the Remarkables. The Milford fish, we built the whole thing. Yeah, we built it on the back of a boat and sunk it to 100 feet and pressed it underwater. Really? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. We're going to take this thing out and see what it does. It feels sweet, you can like fully jump on it. Oh yeah. yeah. You'd be riding around and you would forget that that board was built underwater. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, it's so fun. It's a 
really fun. It's actually a lot more maneuverable than you think it would be. This board's starting to come apart a little bit, but we have these guys putting it through quite the mission, like the rattler rail and all yeah. the jumps. It's, it's holding up well until the end of the day. Like by the time JJ got it, the board was just destroyed. All right, let's go do this. I don't think any of us thought this board was going to be perfection. And even though it didn't hold up well, I think that might have had more to do with having to build it on the back of the boat so quickly. JJ's killing it on that thing. There's nothing left of that board. Look, it's a tire. We got like a, we got a boomerang. It's a wrap. And he just didn't want to quit. He was so excited to keep riding it. Oh, you got All right. All right. We got to finish this off. We got a manual the whole way down. Fun day at the Remarkables with all of our friends. That's what ETT is all about. We destroyed that board. <laughs> that board is destroyed. And we had the best time doing it. We're out. Wait, go ahead. There's no feeling cool in this outfit right now. <laughs>